Hi everyone, here are 10 things that I wish I knew before starting Palea. I'm currently on day 8 and I'm loving it so far. Special shout out to our Super Sunny and Mega Sunny members, Bikey Brown, Sarah, Sakina, Tippers, and Kiona. Thank you for keeping this dream possible. Become a member today to get your very own member badge next to your name on our channel and emotes for comments. If you upgrade to a Mega Sunny member, you also get monthly wallpapers designed by me and an exclusive discount code to SincerelySunshineCat.com for merch, art, and more. On to the tips and tricks. 1. Invest in soil plots. I tried to make more money by selling all of the materials I had gathered like stone, flint, and wood logs, but I ended up needing them to craft key items and upgrade my tools. Instead, invest in soil plots, seeds, and seed making machines to boost your gold coin potential in the beginning by selling extra crops. It will save you material grinding time in the long run. 2. Don't be shy with item requests. This game has such a giving and supporting community. If you're stuck, feel free to ask for items to help you through quests. Once you're in the surplus end of items, you'll have a chance to give back to everyone. 3. Repair your tools. I didn't realize that tools are downgraded if you use them past their durability level. Instead of simply repairing your tools, you'll need to craft the upgraded version again. Keep a note to repair the tools at the Blacksmith's Forge in Kalima Village. Later on in the game, you'll be able to construct a repair station at your home. 4. Talk to everyone. Your chances at improving your relationships with all of the villagers increase just by chatting with everyone. Even if they don't have a speech bubble by their name or if they're sleeping, you can still chat with them. 5. Keep your focus bar filled. This allows you to gain experience much faster while completing your skills tasks. Even using a campfire and consuming grilled mushrooms will help fill up your focus bar. 6. Work together. If you have friends that play Palea or see anyone mining, hunting, or foraging, all of you will earn loot if you contribute any help. Plus, you save the wear and tear on your tool durability. 7. Place your soil plots next to your water source. It will save you time as you go back and forth to fill up your watering can. It's not as impactful when you upgrade your watering can, but you'll notice a difference when you are first starting out. After your watering can is upgraded to hold more water, you can move your soil plots. And yes, they keep your crops as you move them. 8. Focus on star quality items. These items will sell for more gold coins and give you more focus points. Also, if you cook dishes with star quality ingredients, you can display them in your home or on your plot. The same goes with fish and bugs. 9. Invest in pack upgrades at Zeki store. I noticed very quickly that I had to go back to my housing plot often since I love foraging and collecting everything that I can find. Investing in the pack upgrades will give you more rows of 8 items each to carry around with you. The rows get more expensive as you purchase them so keep that in mind. I am currently on row 4 with row 5 to go, but row 5 is 25,000 gold coins. 10. Pin and Unpin Quests Sometimes I get overwhelmed with all of the quests that I have open in Palea, but I realize that I can focus on just one or none if I want to just grind for materials by pinning and unpinning quests. If you're interested in playing, click the link in the description for my referral link. With my referral link, you'll receive a Kalima fruit basket as an in-game gift to welcome you home once you log into the game and complete the onboarding quest. If you're new to Paleo like me, let me know if there's anything you're interested in learning in our future videos. Also, I'd love to meet you in our live streams on Twitch at Sincerely Sunshine Cat. Thanks for watching!